hey there and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'll be teaching you how to convert a class like this to something like this so what's the difference here well, in this class we have the cooperating method we have to map from map from json a comparison operator here right so there's a lot of code to get all this working for a single entity class but then when we look at the simpler version of it has the same features or the same methods as this class over here but then with lesser code so let's look at how to do this so here in vs code i have a simple model class over here and we are going to convert this class to a freeze alternative now freeze is the package that we'll be using to generate all these methods without writing them from scratch so if you go to pub.dev realize that we have a package here called freeze and freeze allows us to define our models in a much simpler way so that we don't think about defining methods like copy words from map providing the comparison operator or any other method like that so let's look at how to use this freeze package in order to get started we need to add the dependencies of freeze which is everything that is listed over here so you can easily copy this like that and then come to a project and paste it in the terminal and that is going to install all these dependencies for you so i'm going to paste this and we can remove the one with the comment so the one starting with a hash can be removed because it's just a comment and now you can hit enter to install all of this so i'm going to install them good so we are done installing the dependencies and if we check our pubspec.yaml file realize that we've added some few dependencies so we have freeze annotation and json annotation which are our uh, main dependencies and under the dev dependencies we have build runner freeze and JSON serializable so these packages are going to help us generate the copyright from map to map and any other methods that we still need in a model class right so in order to use freeze you need to first have a file which is going to be your model file so i'm going to create a new class called simple profile dot dot and the syntax for defining a model with freeze is a bit different from what you might be used to so if you check the documentation again realize that in order to define a person class we need to write all this over here so part mean dot freeze dot that part mean dot j dot that and then the syntax is a little bit weird so we don't need to write all this from scratch what we are going to do is we are going to use an extension in vs code to generate this class so if you go to extensions look for flutter freeze helpers right and install this extension so this is the extension you are looking for flutter freeze helpers now after installing this extension the class that you want to generate so we are generating a user class a product class whatever class that you want to generate just within that file type frf so this stands for um freeze file right and if you hit enter it's going to generate all this boilerplate code for you the import statement the path statement and then the class setup for you so all you have to do is to fill it with the name of your model so over here i'm going to call my model simple profile like this and when i save i have errors over here because we are declaring a path file over here but if you check our directory there is no freeze.dat or gen.dat file here so in order to generate these files we are going to use the build runner dependency that we added in order to use that let's first clear our terminal and then run that run build underscore runner watch so if you run this command it's going to watch our project for whenever we are using a code generation um tool like freeze and it is going to generate the code that we need for us so if I hit enter like this, right, realize that all the errors are gone and we have some files generated over here. So simple underscore profile dot freeze and then simple underscore profile dot gene dot that. We have the errors fixed, but then how do we define um, fields in this class? So instead of defining fields like we would in a normal um, class and then require them in a constructor. We are not going to do that over here. What we are going to do is we are just going to require the fields 
without actually having it defined in the class. So I'm going to just open up and then I'm going to say required string ID. So basically all that you are doing is you are writing the constructor instead of defining the fields first. So required string ID and then required string uh, name, required string email like this and any other field that you want to have. It's just like defining the normal constructor like this. Now when I save, realize that um, the code generation runs again and then it generates whatever that I need. So basically what this code generation does is it generates the form map to map corporate and everything that I need in just a simple setup. I don't need to write all this from scratch. Neither do I need to um, have this written by a tool for me or whatsoever. I can just generate it without thinking about it. Right now in order to test that all this work, I'm going to create a simple variable called copied um, version and even before I declare this variable let me just create a user so I'm going to create a user um, final user and that is going to be equal to a simple profile right so I'm going to give it ID ID name email Right, so this is a simple user, which is the simple profile class, and we are going to test the methods that we have on it. So we can do um, user, and we have to create a variable. So I'm going to create a variable called copied version, and that could be set to user dot. And realize we have all the fields here, right? So we can do dot copy with. And then we can add anything we want. So copy it and we can change maybe the name to Jaron like this. Right. And we don't need to think about where the copyright is coming from because it has already been generated for us. Now, if you want to generate um, a from map, over here, from map is not called from map, but rather they use the term JSON. So we can have simple profile dot from JSON. So, uh, from JSON, and then we are going to pass in the map that we want to convert to this particular simple profile class. So, let's assume you have a map or a data coming from your database. I want to use the popular from map method. You can just call simple profile or your the name of your class, and then from JSON, which is the map version of it. Right now, defining certain things are a bit different. So, if you want to have a default value, let's say for image URL, right? We don't want to have it required, but let's make it a default. How we go about it is a bit different, right? So, we can just set a value here like this. That is going to throw an error. So, if we tackle this a bit differently, and what we are going to do is we are going to use something called at default like this, and then we pass in the value. So the value is going to be maybe, let's say we have some kind of dummy profile image, right, that we want to use for our images. And now when we save, this is going to be a default value for every simple profile when there is no image URL. So there are other things that freeze that's differently as well, right? In this video, I'm not going to go about everything that you have to know about freeze. I'm going to leave a link to the documentation so that if you need something else, you can look at it later on. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.